Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty. Welcome back to the Cosmic Royal Family. How are you guys doing? I hope that all of you guys are doing amazing. Happy New Year to all of you guys. So let's go ahead and um, tap into this energy. And let's see um, what messages your spirit team, the universe, and your ancestors want you to know. All right. Go ahead and give me the strongest energy. Um, the strongest energy for... Um, from the person that is connected to the collective sadness. So whoever is connected to you guys right now, you may be in separation with this person. You may be talking to this person here and there, but this person is sad. This person is going through their disappointment, regret, depression. This person is sad because whatever steps you guys have taken, whatever leap of faith you have taken whatever boundary you have drawn whatever you have done recently is putting this person in a space where they are being forced to change all right this is someone who struggles to change they like to sit in stagnant energy all right this person is sad because they have to change in order to be with you they have to change in order to have you in their life they cannot partake in your divine energy collective if they do not change. This person is sad that they can't have you without changing. I'm getting an energy that you could have gave this person an ultimatum. Or maybe you could have set, set some type of boundary with them. You could have told this person that either you clean up your act, you get yourself together, and you present me with the proper offer, or it's nothing at all. All right? Um, purpose energy is here. See, and I really feel like this is my divine collective. You guys are in your purpose. You are doing the soul work. All right. Looking for the meaning in life, discovering your life's purpose, going on a spiritual journey. And I'm also getting this energy because you guys, um, were definitely the catalyst to this person's humble, humbleness, humbling. I'm, I'm, I heard meeting you was truly a humbling experience to this person collective. All right. This sadness that this person is experiencing is going to take them through a dark night of the soul. Then they're going to go through an awakening. Yeah, this is going to make this person go within. This is this this sadness that they're feeling um, due to not having you right now, even though they want you. Somebody to put their foot down collective. I feel like maybe you don't put your foot down with this person, but. If you have, they're sad about it. If you know, a lot of you guys, you've sent those last messages before the new year because you're starting your year over fresh, right? Yeah, 313, you're starting your year over fresh. So whatever you said to this person, maybe it was like a week or so ago or whenever, could have been today, all right? It has this person sad because they know that they're not ready. They know that they have not done any work. And right now they need you in their life more than ever. But they can't have you because of their unhealedness and their unwillingness to change. This is going to make this person go within. Yeah, this is going to send this person on their own spiritual journey. Yeah, staying flexible and adaptable, keeping an open mind, going with the flow, being teachable. So, yeah, this 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 person needs to go with the flow with spirit. That's the problem. They, they would never go with the flow of spirit. Spirit would try to come in, guide them, you know, tell them how to do things. And this person was just fighting against the grain. They were fighting the tide. They were fighting the wave collective, you know, and it makes it worse. So this person is being called to go with the flow because really it's out of their hands anyway. They can't have you. Yeah, this person is angry. They're angry because they cannot have you in this broken, unhealed space that they're in. That you're not putting up with that. You're not dealing with that. This is somebody who could have wronged you guys. Well, yeah, they did wrong you, but maybe they blame you. This person has a lot of pent up frustration. They may be lashing out on people around them right now. This person is in a very, very, very um, dark space, but they can't be mad with nobody but themselves. They wasted all this time collective. 
I feel like they were being divinely guided to undergo some type of makeover, some type of redo. This person was spirit was guiding this person to reinvent themselves. Yeah. It was something about themselves that they were supposed to change and spirit was guiding them through this. But this person just came off like they were confused. Like they were, they were in this crossroad energy. And while they were in this energy collective, they could have chosen somebody else too. I heard two-faced it. So this person could have been very two-faced it. They could have talked about you to this other person or they really went all in with this other situation here I'm getting. Spirit was trying to put this person on the right path. And that's just, that's just what it is. Spirit was trying to put this person on the right path and they chose the wrong path because they did not want to change. This person did not want to make the necessary adjustments. Yeah. And this is why, you know, Lady Justice is here. This is why this person may be experiencing some type of karma right now. Yeah, because they hid who they really were for so long. This is somebody who wore a mask with you guys from the very beginning. This person could have hid the fact that they were jealous, envious of you. They could have bad mouthed you to this other person and or other people. This person or they hid their intentions. Oh, my God. Here it is. I heard two faced and it says being two faced. I heard that. Yeah. This person was two faced. This person talked about you to this karmic and anybody else that would listen. That is so crazy. That's why they're going through karma. That's sad. Now this person is in this energy of they need somebody, but spirit is blocking this person from you because they were two-faced. Yeah, they're experiencing delays. Yeah, because they got to heal. And this person is frustrated because they can't get to you faster. Yeah, but it's like now they're being called to have patience. They have to actually grow up. Yeah, divine intervention here. So the universe has inter intervened in this situation because this person was on some low vibrational stuff. So the world card, this is why the cycle wrapped itself up collective. This is why. I don't know what this person said. All right. I don't know exactly what this person said, but it was not good. It was not good. Tell me more. So they must have said something about your finances. Because I saw the potential car earlier with the money on it. This person says something about your financial position or where you are, where you are in life financially or something about your stability. This person could have said you were struggling or you were keeping secrets about how you make your money. This person was not, they didn't have all the facts though. This person was not, they didn't have all the facts. That's because you're secretive. You move in silence so you don't post all your business. Look, potential here again. Yes, yeah, something about your finances. All right. Something about how you invested your money. This person could also say something about you being lustful. And something dealing with your sexuality or something like that. This person was very cutthroat behind the scenes but i'm getting they were jealous because you are so lucky you're blessed yeah it's like you guys are powerful manifestors and this person was jealous yeah you guys have access to keys that unlock infinite doors this person was jealous now this is this person is in a barren land look that's why they're struggling because they were two-faced this person was two-faced they collected they talked about whatever you were going through at the time Maybe they could have at one point been doing financially better than you. This person talked about you. Now they angry because they need you. And this person have quite possibly realized that they do love you. They probably have always knew that. But this was a two-faced person. I heard in a barren land, a dried up land, this person's world is barren and dried up. So Most High has dried up everything in this person's life because they were talking about you. 
and you're on a more fruitful, abundant side of things right now. This person is struggling and they need help. They're barely surviving. Yep. No savings. They ran through their savings. This was all divinely orchestrated because this person needed to be humble. I mean, come on, the audacity to smile on somebody's face, say that you love them, right? You could lay up with them, have sex with them, possibly even have children with them and talk about them behind their back. This person is bored with their life. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. There are they, this something about this person's um, life is a mess right now. Whatever circumstances that they have going on around them is a mess. I'm hearing air now, dirty laundry. Okay, so y'all listen. Somebody about to air out some dirty laundry about your person. And this is a part of their karma. And that's because they talked about you. That's because they talked about you. Oh, birth in reverse. Somebody is about to come out that a child that they thought was theirs is not theirs. Dirty laundry. Yep. This is going to put this person further in isolation. There it is. Sad news. Yep. This person, while they're in isolation or they, they may not be in isolation right now, but they will be. Once they find out that this child is not theirs, yep, it says disappoint, disappointing message. Not what you wanted to hear. Something not going to your favor. Yeah. Inconvenient truth. That's the truth. And this is what's unseen. That's their karma. They was talking all that stuff about you, collective. This is for somebody specific. Somebody is about to find out that a child is not theirs a child that they had with a karmic, possibly somebody that they chose over you. The child is not theirs. This is unseen. This is what's being hidden. Mm. They were dealing with somebody who was emotionally unavailable. Whoever this Kurt, this karmic is that this person was dealing with. Don't love nobody. All right. They could have met somebody that was just like them. Cutthroat, cold hearted. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody just like them collective. Oh, wow. I knew I felt like it was something that was about to be aired out about this person. Because when I saw the, the dirty laundry card. All right, Holy Spirit, tell me more about this situation here. See? Gluttonous gossip. Yeah, it's about to be some gossips. The tea, you see, she's drinking that tea. Something about to come out. I'm telling you, this is this person's karma and this has been to embarrass them. It's going to be public. Even if it's not something dealing with a child, all right? It's going to be something very, very embarrassing about to come out about this person here. Yeah, see, because this person was gossiping about you. Unable to control or have an overwhelming need to share false or misleading information. This person was lying about you. To other people. Whoever will listen to them. Personal narratives that may or may not be true. This person didn't really get to know you. They didn't have all their facts together about you. So they gossip about you. But it's some hot tea about to come out about them. And it's going to be true. And it's going to be true. Yep. Hmm. Afraid of the unknown karmic ties, responsibilities in the committed, committed relationship with someone else. Yeah, this is if something is about to come out pertaining to somebody that, that they are karmically tied to. Yeah. Someone that they have some type of like um, tied responsibilities with this person. This person wasn't listening to their intuition. They didn't listen to their intuition when they went towards this, this person here. So, you know, they kind of created their own karma. And they started this anyway when they started gossiping about you, collective. Yeah. Look at this. When this happened, collective, this person's going to want to surrender. Ghosted energy here. This person's going to come out of hibernation. and They're going to want to try to communicate with you. But you guys are just in this energy of self-love. So you may or may not even want to entertain this. But they definitely are getting signs and synchronicities from the universe that they're supposed to like make something right. This person owe you an apology. 
They owe you a real big apology. This is why they're in their head. Inner turmoil. Yep. Because they lied on you. This is somebody's. I'm going to be honest with you. A man. This is somebody's masculine. There is so much for me to tell you, but I'm unable to express myself in a rational way. So I'd rather keep quiet. Doubting and questioning decisions fight between the mind and the head. Feeling worried, conflicted, and unhappy with life's choices. Yeah, this is somebody, this is somebody's masculine who did this, who ran off, or maybe they abandoned you and things got better for you. You start healing. And this person was just watching you from a distance and they were just jealous. They were jealous. Could be a Gemini energy. You could be a Gemini. And this person talked about you in a nasty way to other people. But some things about to come out about this person. We keep replaying the same story over and over again. And it never ends well. We are going. To, when are we going to do better? So we can be better. So you feel like it's just like a, a repeated cycle. Like a broken, broken record. Hamster wheel energy with this person. Even though we are not together, we are connected through through and through. When I sleep, I dream of you. When I wake, when I when when I'm awake, I think of you. I'm able to feel you as you are you as if you're physically here. So you have a spiritual connection with this person, and this person will bad mouthed you. They talked about you to other people. Yeah. I get so emotional when your name comes up or when I see something that reminds me of you. You trigger something inside of me that caused me to feel uncomfortable in my own skin. I don't understand these emotions. So, yeah, you triggered them. You just being yourself triggered them and they got super jealous and they talked about you. They gossiped about you to somebody else and they sat back and watched you like a narc, like a narcissist. Yeah, this is somebody who cannot look at their own reflection because they know that they were dead ass wrong for this. This is somebody who don't like who they see when they look in the mirror. This person is also under distress right now. They're stressed out. Because all this karma is coming back on, on this person. Stuff is coming out about them. It's like they're being publicly exposed. and But what's coming out about them is the truth. Like, God isn't going to give them karma with lies. God is going to give this person karma with the truth. What they, what they told on you was lies. And you guys are moving towards karma water, right? It says positive movement forward. You guys were being guided towards happiness out of this turbulent situation with this person. And this person is over here conflicted and defeated. Yeah, they defeated themselves when they did this to you. They def I don't know what they thought they were going to gain by bad-mouthing you. This is a bitter energy. If I can't have you and you're doing better without me, then I'm going to talk about you. I'm going to make other people look at you in a bad way. That's what they did. But see, this person underestimated your spiritual strength. They don't know how strong you are for real, for real. You know, you are super, super strong in the spiritual realm. You, you are spiritually in shape. All right? And you also have some type of... Uh, recognition you hold some type of recognition or, or high ranking in a spirit it says recognition and reward you hold some type of divine um position that's higher up in the spirit this person had no no idea they didn't have no idea give me one more i heard this is why this person didn't want to face you because they had been talking about you and it's crazy because you still very much was in love with this person all this person has now is to hold on to memories. Like they have memories of you guys, you know, that's all they have to hold on to. This person is trying to hold on to some type of hope, but they know that they have to tell you the truth. They have to tell you what they said about you. Okay, especially like if this person feel like they want to be with you, they can't bring you around their friends and their family. And they know they've been gossiping about you. They know they've been lying on you, talking about you. Yeah, this person was not listening to their intuition and this is why their life is not fulfilled. Right now, spirit told this person not to do that. And they did it anyway. Y'all got to pay attention, though. If you're dealing with somebody, not just a man, like a woman, too. Like if you're talking to somebody new and they're talking about their old partner to you in a negative way, that's a red flag. That's a two faced it motherfucker. All right. That person is two faced it. That's that's not a good sign. That don't mean that 
you know, this person like you more, they love you more because they're talking, they're bad mouthing their last partner to you. That means that they are a wolf in sheep's clothing and that they are a snake and that within the right circumstances with you and them, they'll talk about you too. Yeah. So spirit is saying, y'all make sure that, you know, you are spending this time in solitude right now, learning as much as you can learn. Let me pull something for y'all finances right now. Yeah, there's some type of, oh my God, lessons. That's what it is. So spirit is like, this was some type of spiritual lesson for you guys. Take time in solitude, connect with spirit so that they can guide you through whatever this, this lesson. I heard a karmic lesson. It was a karmic lesson. But I do feel like this was definitely somebody who you have a spiritual connection with, who taught you some type of spiritual lesson and you taught them a spiritual lesson too. Perfect time to invest. What's the rush? All right. So, you know, eventually spirit is going to call you guys to make some type of investment, but make sure that you think things through. Give me one more. Some of you are going to get a new car with ride upgrade debt free at last. Yeah. And you're going to be able to pay off some type of debt. It's okay to change your mind. So yeah, some of y'all it's something that you, you want to change your mind on, or you may need to change your mind about, and it's okay. Spirit is saying it's okay. We all change our minds sometimes. That's okay. Give me one more. I'm hearing some type of an investment, but you kind of you think you want to change your mind. You should. If you if spirit is telling you to go the other way, then go the, go the other way. That career is waiting for you. So some type of new career change is on the horizon for you. Your hard work is paying off. So keep keep going keep doing what you're doing like all of it is going to pay off okay i hope y'all enjoyed this reading let me know in the comment section um how this resonated with you peace